When we have a child on the spectrum, we are being told as parents what to do and how to do everything. You know, we may not be consistent enough. And so there's always what feels to be criticism, but that criticism is not necessarily supposed to be negative. It's trying to better the way in which we're helping our children. But when we're out in nature, there's really no wrong way of doing things, right? If we have safety in mind and we're appropriately assessing risk for our child, you know, maybe climbing a tree is really exciting for the child and we're allowing them to climb it, but we might have to give a visual boundary as to where they can climb to because our child may not be able to distinguish that for themselves. So we have appropriately assess that risk for them or we layer them in the winter and give them the right clothing to go out into nature. But beyond that, there's really nothing that you can do wrong, right? You can stand back and watch your child and see what they engage with and have these epiphanies as to things that we didn't quite know about our children by just allowing nature to be that teacher, to be that guide for them. I'm thinking of a story that I experienced with a child that was very fearful of water. And that fear was almost paralyzing. And one of the things that we wanted to do for this child was we wanted to get the child to a place that they would be willing to take swimming lessons because this was a family that water is a very important aspect of their life and they wanted the safety around water to be um, something that the child understood and was engaged in. So one of the things we did was we went for a hike and it wasn't a very long hike, it was actually just a few hundred feet off of this trail to a mini waterfall. So we're not talking about anything big <laughs> that feels very overwhelming, but this waterfall was about three feet high. And we took the child to the edge of where the water was streaming out and allowed the child just to stand there. And the child very much enjoyed being there, but was really reticent about engaging with the water in any manner, whether it was putting her hands in the water or it was putting her feet in the water. Well, her siblings were with us as well. And so the siblings were jumping in the water and splashing and throwing rocks into the water and just engaging in tons of different types of play within the water. And so she was watching this. Through our patience and through our understanding not to push this child to be a part of that water play, she started to engage on her own. At first she started to engage by throwing rocks into the water and watching the splash happen. Then she felt more comfortable with that and we all started playing games with throwing rocks into the water and what would a big rock do versus a little rock and how big that splash would be. Then she moved into putting her hands in the water and feeling how slimy some of the rocks felt because that was interesting to her. And the next thing we knew, she was taking her shoes off and she had put her feet into the water. And it was a big moment for this child because even things as simple as taking a bath were hard for her, right? She just was very nervous about water. And so then with more exposure to that, we actually got her to a place where taking her to a swimming pool was a very exciting event instead of a very anxiety inducing event. So we used nature to help bring a skill forthright for her um, that wasn't ne necessarily an outdoor thing. We brought it indoors for her and allowed her to feel peace.